So you want to create a computer program. How do you decide which programming language to use? Well, there are several different criteria you can explore. First of all, there may be some sort of organisational policy that says this language is used in our organisation. If so, there are likely to be three different types of policy. A policy that says this language is the language we use for creating applications. Another policy will say these are the languages that we use, or this is the language we use, for creating things for the internet. And then you have to choose which sort of database system you want to use. Those are organisational policy decisions. Another way of looking at which language you might use is to consider the suitability of the features and the tools for that language. So, for example, in C, it's a very fast language, but the tools are relatively poor. Whereas, if you went for something like, say, Visual Basic, the language is slow, but the tools that come with it are excellent. All the main programming languages will have suitable features, except for the scripting languages, of course. Then you have to look at what sort of staff are available. You might have the ideal programming language, but do you have the people who can program in that language, or do you have to retrain everyone? That's obviously an additional cost. Then there's the development and maintenance costs. If a language is easy to use, say something like Visual Basic, the development and maintenance costs are relatively small. However, if you create something in, say, C++ that is much more complex, then you're going to have to consider how costly it would be to change things or add things later on. That sort of expandability of the program is a problem that runs all the way through your computing life. People will always come up with good ideas that say, Ah, I've just had this idea. It, wouldn't it be great if we did a... And you think, Oh God, that's going to cost a lot of money. That's called mission creep. Beware of mission creep. Now, a final consideration might be the sort of tools within a programming language... And there, most things are fairly similar. Nowadays, most languages are event-driven. And so, you get the tools that come with that language. In most cases, should you need extra tools, you can create those too. Many programming languages are free. Java, C++, C, can all just be downloaded from the internet free of charge some cost. So, for example, if you want the full professional development environment for Visual Basic, the Visual Studio development environment, that will cost you over a thousand pounds. In round numbers, fifteen hundred dollars, or if you're in Europe, eleven hundred euros. So there are all sorts of considerations that you need to think about when choosing a particular language.